I'm Christian Harloff. And I'm Tiffany Smith, and our guest today is a viral video connoisseur, comedian, and a host. We've got Kaja Martin. And you're watching Movie Three So! You are so excited! Yeah, I like that. That was Woo! good. Yeah. Jacked you up. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kaja, for coming on the show to complete our movie threesome. Mm -hmm. Now, movie is in the title of our show. We like to talk about movies. I would say, though, viral videos are a guilty pleasure for a lot of people. So, mm -hmm. what would you say is your guilty pleasure movie? Bridesmaids? I don't think that's necessarily a guilty pleasure. I don't but know like, if you feel, yeah, I was like, I don't know how confident you I feel know. about after, that answer. Once, like, after you've watched it 10 to 15 times, telling people again that you've, you've seen, seen it. you've seen it again, right. Okay. The movie's excellent. I would highly recommend it. I would say 1985's Rad. No one knows what I'm talking about. It's a BMX bike movie. His name is Crew. Hey, good looking. BMX is his world. Rad is his way of life. Now, I would like to be an extra in the movie Rad if I can go back in time. If you could be an extra in any movie, okay. what movie would you like to be an extra in? Back to the Future? That's a great Duh. answer. <laughs> How about you, Tiff? If I could be an extra in a movie, obviously I'd pick Lord of the Rings. I know that you think Here. I would say Star Wars, but I would not. I don't no, want... I don't think you would say Star Wars, because you always say you would never want to be on the set. I wouldn't want to. I love Star Wars too I much. Don't I don't believe this. I want to ruin it. It's like you love hot dogs, and you work in the factory, and never eat a hot dog again. Listen, you're rad. Don't let Thank anybody you. tell you. <laughs> Fun fact. Did you guys know? That's right, you can laugh. Do you know that the evil twins from Rad actually wrote The Conjuring? That is a fun fact. It's the truth. Look it up. You're a full tilt nerd on this episode. <laughs> fun fact! Push these intelligent facts to the side. By the way! <laughs> on this show, we do a lot of fun things, Kasha, as far as our weekly wager. I've been keeping track. You guys did Spectre last week. Yep. Okay, you bet 98 million and you bet 102 million. It's true, I did. The actual box office for Spectre was 70.4 million, which means I'm the best, the best in the, the world! world. It's not like it matters though, because who really cares or follows that I lost this week? Tiffany. I can't believe you lost. Back in with Batista. He's my boy and he hates your guts. This week's punishment comes from one of our YouTube viewers, Donald Long, who says losers should smell the entire crew's armpits. First of all, no one wants me to sniff their armpits. And second of all, we don't even have time. We're shooting a show. Oh, I disagree. We have a sound guy right here. Timmy, lift them up, baby. Lift them up. Look at that. That's disgusting. Get in there. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Oh, oh God. there he goes. No. Moves in. Wet, stinky no, nose. No, I'm totally no, done no, now. No, no, no. I the smelled entire it. crew. Smell like onions. Let's go on for next week's wager. I think we should talk about the 33. You're familiar the 33, with that one? Yeah, Antonio Banderas. It's yep. about the Chilean miners who get trapped. Yes. I say nine million. Tiffany, get your nose out of that man's pits and give us your bet. Okay, I'm gonna say seven five for this movie. All right, that is going to be the wager for this week. Now you guys get involved. Hashtag loser should and submit those punishments. Okay, it must be the fumes. Keep them coming, and you're gonna watch Tiffany continue to do horrible things. Yeah. Should it be what should loser do next or what should Tiffany do next? Because she's lost uh, a lot. Okay, come on, come on. What are you throwing at me for? I'm the best, best and nothing, nothing can face me. me. I'm the best. Favorite I'm Soldier Boy. It's called the Harlaw because I win. You know I can what? make up my own stupid dances. With those dance moves. Your you're nose losing. stinks. You're losing. Come on, Probably let's do it. Shit. How you like my dance? You like this dance? I'm doing one of these dances. Let's put the helmets. I steal from the crew, and you ask me why? Because today's topic. Let's talk a little bit about the show that you work on. You work sure. on the Equals Three show, and you guys find funny videos and make them viral. What yes. is that? What does that exactly mean? And what do you guys love about doing that? Okay, so sometimes we make them viral. Sometimes they're already viral on their own. It means that you know, once upon a time, we found this cat video. A cat is being walked, and it just rolls over another cat. And that video started with like 200 views, and I think it's up to two million wow. views. Wow. People come and they see and they like, and then we always point them in the direction to that video. You guys won a really big case in regards to fair use. Yes, we did. Can you explain on that a little? Basically, we use these videos and we don't license 
license them because they are protected under fair use. Right. And we are we're in a lawsuit with a company called Jukin, and we won. And that is a huge victory for everybody online making content. I encourage you to fight back if you're protected under fair use, but it really is a great statement because there's so much content being made and the ability to make it freely and to share it is very important. But also the studios are making these videos with the intent that yeah. this is gonna go viral. How can mm -hmm. we kind of market to a new audience? And I mean, Jurassic World this past year, they did the whole website where it was, you could buy tickets, you could see how long the wait was for certain rides. It was so cool. Yeah, but I do think it's important like to that. mention mm -hmm. the original, which I think is like Blair Witch Project. This was one of the first ones that most people were aware yeah. of. Mm -hmm. And it was really when the internet really started to pop and you had this, almost documentary that they put on television actually yeah, at the time. Right. I remember seeing it and I'm like, where are these kids? What happened to them? Right. No, I thought it was real. Everyone thought <laughs> yeah. it was real. Yeah. And then well, obviously once, once the movie came out, we knew it wasn't, but it was done brilliantly. Yeah, I mean, I actually kind of thought it was real for a while there. Uh, there's actually some interesting stories. One of the producers uh, there at Sundance, the, all, he figured out all the bars were missing coasters, right? So we had that little symbol printed on the co a bunch of coasters, a ton of coasters, and was handing them out The there. sticks? Yeah, yeah, yeah the right, sticks. Right, right. Also, there were missing person posters. Yeah, where are those kids? I'm also still wondering, but there are posters. They're on milk cartons, so it's fine. So I do love the viral video campaign marketing thing that's going on, but you know what else I love? Uh-oh. <laughs> Game time! Okay. The game that we want to play with you is called This or That. We're okay. going to give you two options. You have to choose which one you want. We need to get through 10 in 30 seconds. Easy. If you can do that, you win, and you get to spin the winner's wheel of winning. Okay. Ready? The sound of laughter or the sound of silence? Laughter. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Arrested Development or The Office? Uh, Arrested Development. Rabbits or hamsters? Uh, hamsters. Things that float or tickles? Uh, floating things. Boats or planes? Uh, planes. Asteroids heading to Earth or overdraft fees? What? Uh, I guess overdraft fees. Tape or glue? Uh, tape. P. Diddy or Puff Daddy? They're the same thing. <laughs> right or wrong? Right. Meg Ryan or Ryan Meg? Ryan, Meg Ryan. Oh. All right. Yay! Okay, so, since you won, it's I time to spin, to spin the, wheel. the winner's wheel of winning. Oh, no, it's no time it. for that. But you do win this bag of hair. What yeah, are you yeah. doing? I'm Honestly, where did you even get this hair, you weirdo? Don't worry about it, stinky nose. Whoop. Oh, God. This is gross. You yes. guys know that, right? Yes, absolutely. I'm really sorry. I don't know. What's, I... Let's end the show. Yay! Thank you to Kasha Martin for joining us and suffering through our strangeness that is this show. If you guys want to find more of Kaja, check her out on Twitter at Kaja Martin and check out the YouTube channel, The Equals 3 Studio and the Kasha Martin channel. There's new content coming to both of those channels, so go and check them out. Make sure you subscribe to our channel right there. Check out more episodes of our past shows right there and then download the Fandango Movie Clips app on your smartphone and join us next week on Movie Threesome! We're never giving another guest hair in a bag. That's a wrap. I hope not. Oh, I'm taking that one, so you guys can't give Good. it to someone else. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>